morning class. Welcome now to our week 7 first quarter in mathematics. Okay, so before we start our lesson, I hope you have already exercised and prayed. Okay, so let's have a review first. Okay, read and solve each simple problem. So let's have this number one. A class of 40 people, two-fifth of them are boys. How many are girls? So, the given facts are 40 and 2 feet, which uh, 2 feet are boys in a class. But the problem asks about the number of girls. So, we are going to get first the number of boys. So, let's have this 40 times 2 feet because of the word of them. So, of them, it means you are going to multiply. So, I'm going to use cancellation method. So, let's have 40 and 5. So, 40 and 5 can be divided by 5. So, we're going to divide it. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. Then, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. So, we're going to multiply now. 8 times 2 equals 16 over 1. So, therefore... 16 over 1 or 16 divided by 1 is equal 16. So the, the answer is uh, 16 boys. So we are going to get now the number of girls. So, so we are going to subtract 40 minus 16. So 40 minus 16 equals 24. So 24 in a, are girls in a class. Uh, let's have another uh, problem. Rene had 960 pesos. He spent one third of his money on food. How much were left to him? Okay. So the given facts are 960 and one third. One third of his money. So one third of his money spent for uh, food. The problem asks about the money that was left to Rene. So we're going to have uh, 960 times one third. So again, I'm going to use cancellation since 960 can be divided also by 3. So 960 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3. So 960 divided by 3 is equals 320. Then 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So we have 320 times 1 equals 320 over 1 or 320 divided by 1 is 320. So 320, that was the money that he um, paid for his food. Now we're going to know what, how much were left to Rene. So we're going to subtract 960 minus 320 equals... 640. So the money that was left to Rene is 640. Okay, another problem. Efren had 480 apples for sale. He sold three fifths of them. How many were left? Again, the same operation we're going to use. We can have this, um, the whole apples will be. 5 over 5. So we're going to subtract 5 over 5 minus 3 fifth because 3 fifth that was the apple that uh, sold. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then copy 5. So if you remember the uh, steps or the rule in subtracting fraction, we are going to subtract only the numerator, then copy the denominator if our fraction are similar. Fractions. Now, the apples that left is 2 feet. Now, we are going to find out uh, how many apples is 2 feet. So, 2 feet of 480. So, we are going to multiply 480 times 2 feet. So, again, I'm going to use cancellation since our given 480 is divisible by 5 and 5 is divisible by 5. So, we are going to divide now. So, 480 and 5 divided by 5. So, we have 480 divided by 5 is 9 
96. Then 5 divided by 5 equals 1. So, 96 times 2 equals 192. So, the 192 apples were left. Okay, let's have another problem. Find the product of 2 fifths and 3 fourths. So, it's very simple. We're going to find the product of 2 fifths and 3 fourths. So, 2 fifths times 3 fourths. So, multiply numerator by numerator. But we can have use cancellation since our denomin uh, numerator is 2 and the denominator of the other fraction is 4. So, it is divisible by 2. So, we're going to divide now. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now, the remaining number for the numerator is 1 and 3 and for the denominator is 5 and 2. So, we're going to multiply now. 1 times 3 equals 3 and 2 5 times 2 equals 10. So the product of 2 fifth and 3 fourth is 3 tenths. Now, our lesson this morning is all about solving word problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and a whole number. And the other one is showing the reciprocal of fraction. So at the end of the lesson, you are expected to one, solve word problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole number. And the second one shows the reciprocal of the fractions. I have here a problem. Okay, we're going to read. Mayor Maliksi allotted 21,000 pesos for food of the evacuees at Imus Pilot Elementary School during Typhoon Rolly. Four seventh of it for purchasing vegetables and two seventh for fish and the rest is for meat. How much is spent for vegetables, fish, and meat? Okay, so we are going to analyze the problem. So, what can you say about Mayor Maliksi? Alright, so Mayor Maliksi is a very kind and hard, uh, hearted person. She loved, he loved his fellow man. So let's, uh, uh, let's solve now the problem. So first we're going to know or we are going to understand the problem. So under the understand of the problem, we have to know what is asked. So in this problem, what is asked? So it is uh, the problem asked about the amount spent for vegetables fish and meat then under the understand the problem we have what are the given facts so you are going to know what are the given facts in order to use for solving the problem so the given facts are we have 21,000 pesos and 4 7 for vegetables 4 7 at uh, 2 7 for fish it's typographical error so I'm going to Change first this one. This is two feet for feet, uh, two seven for fish. Okay, again, the given fax is 21,000 pesos for 7 for vegetables and 27 for fish. So, under the understand, we have solved for the hidden given. So, do we have an, a hidden given? Yes, because we do not know the uh, fraction sa assigned for meat. We do not have the given. So, we're going to find out. Okay, since our given facts, uh, vegetables is 4, 7, and we have the fish, 2, 7, we're going to get the sum of that. So, our fraction is similar, so we're going to uh, simply add only the numerator. So, 4 plus 2 equals 6, then copy the denominator, which is 7. Now, what we're going to do with the 6, 7? 6, 7, that is the combination or the 
sum of purchasing the vegetables and fish. So we're going to find out uh, how uh, what part of the fraction is allotted for meat. So the whole uh, money it is uh, it is seven uh, seven seven or one. So the the whole money was divided into seven. So we have seven seven minus six seven equals one seven. So one seven is allotted for meat. Now, so we are done with the understand with the problem. So we know the what is us, the given facts, and uh, hidden given. So let's go now to the second uh, part, plan. How do you plan to solve the problem? So in under the plan, you are going to know what is or what are the clue words or the phrases or the sentence that give you a clue in order to solve the problem. So in this kind of problem, if you notice, we have the word of it. Where can you find that? Uh, Mayor Maliksi allotted 21,000 pesos for the food of the uh, evacuees at Imus Pilot Elementary School during Typhoon Rolly. Four seven of it. So yun, that, this, that is the uh, two word that tells you that you are going to... Okay, so you, uh, under the plan, you are going to know what operation to be used. So the word of it, you are going to... Very good. So you're going to multiply. But before we multiply, uh, kanina, nag-subtract tayo for the hidden given. So therefore, the operation to be used in this kind of problem are multiplication and subtraction. Why we subtract? Because we are going to find out what is the hidden given. So for the hidden given, we use subtraction. But for the whole uh Problem, we are going to multiply. So, we are going to find out how much is 4 7 of 21,000, how much is 2 7 of 21,000, and how much is 1 7 of 21,000. So, now, so under the plan, you have also know, or you are going to translate now your problem into a mathematical sentence or the number sentence. How do you translate that problem into a number sentence? So we have three number sentence since we have to look for the amount allotted for vegetable, allotted for fish, and allotted for meat. So you have three number sentence. The first one is 21,000 times 4, 7 equals N. So, we're going to find out that. The second one, 21,000 times 2, 7 equals N. And the third one is 21,000 times 1, 7 equals N. So, I'm going to use under the plan, I use an illustration to show the whole part or the whole money. So, the whole money was amounted as 21,000 pesos. So, I'm going to divide that into 7. Since our fractions, the denominator is 7. So, I'm going to divide it 7. So, the 7 part. So, the 4 part is allotted for... For what? For uh, vegetables. So, in every part, we have a 1, 7. So, the total is 7, 7. So, for the four parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, represent as a green color that is for vegetable. And that is for 7. And the um, gray or brown represent for fish and that is 2, 7. And the red one is for meat, 1, 7. So, that is, uh, I'm going to plan or uh, how to solve the problem using the illustration. Now, let's go now to the third step. So, again, the first step is you are going to understand the problem. The second one, you are going to plan. Then, the third one, you are going to solve now. So, how do we solve now the problem? So, 
we are going to solve the three number sentences that being uh, translated from the word problem. Now, the first one is 21,000 times 4 7 equals N. So, so 21,000 times 4, uh, 4 7. So, 21,000 and 7 can be divided by 7. So, I use cancellation here so that we can arrive, um, we can get the answer easily or quickly. Okay. So, 21,000. Okay, so I'm not going to use cancellation na lang para makita ng lahat. So, I'm going to multiply na 21,000 times 4 equals 84. Then, copy the denominator which is 7. Now, 84,000 divided by 7 equals 12,000. So, 21,000 times 4, 7 equals 12,000. Okay, the second uh, number sentence now. 21,000 times 2, 7. Okay, 21,000 times 2 equals 42,000. Copy 7. So, we're going to divide. 42,000 divided by 7. So, 42 divided by 7 is 6. So, that is 6,000. So, again now, 21,000 times 2, 7 equals 6,000. Then, the third one, 21,000 times 1, 7 so, 21,000 times 1 is 21 over 7. So, 21,000 divided by 7 or 21 divided by 7 is 3. So, therefore, that is 3,000. So, 21,000 times 1, 7 equals 3,000. So, how do we check that for the fourth part of our uh, so a step in solving the word problem? So, we have that, 12,000, 6,000, and 3,000. So, we are going to check if our answer is check or make, uh, make sense. So, again, I'm going to use an illustration in order us to uh, understand how the 21,000 is divided into 7 parts. So, since I divided it into 7 parts, so each part or one part of that is 3,000. So, 3,000 times 7 is 21,000. So, that is I, how I use an illustration. Now, since uh, 4, 7 equals 12,000, so I'm sure here, that is 12,000 allotted for vegetables. And 2, 3,000 is 6,000 that is allotted for fish. And 3,000 is allotted for meat. So that is how the importance of an illustration for you to understand how to solve the problem and how you use an illustration to solve the problem. Do you understand? Okay, so I have another example here. Okay, so this is an, another example. So I have here a problem. June receives an allowance of 50 pesos a day. He spent, spent, it should be spent, three-fifths of it and saved the rest. How much does he save in five days? Now, so we are going to understand the problem. So under understand, we have what is asked, what are the given facts, and then, do we have a hidden given? Yes, we have a hidden given here. So, we are going to find out how much did June uh, save for a day or for one day. So, we are going to know what is us. What is us in this problem? So, in this problem, ask about the money, uh, the money that June saved in five days. That is us in our problem. So, what are the given facts? So, the given facts are we have 50,000 up, 50 pesos, and then 5 days, and we have a day. Now, do we have a hidden uh, given her? Yes, we have the hidden given. And what is the hidden given? So, we are going to find out how much, uh, how much did 
he saved for one day. So we're going to find out. So our so 50 times 3 feet. Why 3 feet? Because he saved 3 feet of it for one day. So we're going to multiply. So 3 times 50, that is 150. Then 150 divided by 5 equals 30. Okay, very good. So in one day, 30, this is the amount uh, he spent. So we're going to subtract this now, 30 pesos from 50 pesos. So we are going to 50 minus 30 equals 20 pesos. So 20 pesos this is the amount he saved for a day. So this is now our hidden given. So hindi natin siya nakikita doon sa given natin, di ba? Kaya tinatawag siyang hidden given. Now, we have now the hidden given. So let's go now to plan. So we're going to plan. Under the plan, you are going to know what is or what are the clue word. Again, we have the clue word of it. 3 feet of it, and that is multiplication. So the uh, operation to be used in this problem again is multiplication. And we also have subtraction because we are, we are going to apply to, uh, to get the hidden uh, given. Now, under the plan, we have uh, operation to be used, multiplication. Now, the, se the second one now, or the third one, so the clue word, Operation to be used, and the third one is the number sentence. So we are going to translate this num uh, word problem into a number sentence. So we are going to have this the number sentence. Okay, 50 times 3 feet. Or, shall we say, we have... We can also use the hidden problem here, 5 feet minus 3 feet equals 2 feet. And then 2 feet is your hidden given. So we can use that 2 feet equals times 5 equals n. So this is now our number sentence. Again, we can use this. Um, equation as our hidden to get the hidden uh, given since 2 feet it, the whole part is 5 5 minus 3 feet which I uh, spent for uh, for his food or any other expenses then the remaining is 2 feet and that is the amount she want to he want to save now let's find out now uh, how much did June save for five days? So we're going to multiply now. So we have multiply, multiply. So 50 times 2 equals 100 times 5 equals 500. One, uh, 5 times 1 equals 5. <coughs> now, 500 divided by 5 equals 100 pesos. So, we are going to check. We are done with the plan. We go to now to check. We are going to check if my answer is correct. So, I'm going to use an illustration just like what I did in the first problem. So, this is the whole part of... Uh, 50 pesos I'm going to divide this into 5 so each part is 10 pesos 10 pesos 10 pesos so this is, uh, he spent 30 so 3 parts so 3 fifths and then this is 2 fifth, and that is 20. So 20. This is the hidden uh, uh, given kanina. So 20 pesos. If we are going to multiply this by 5, 20 
times 5 days equals 100 pesos. So, our answer is check. Do you understand? Okay, I have another example here. Okay, another example. <coughs> this is the last example I'm going to give you. Uh, Ray harvested to 25 and 2 third kilogram uh, of tomatoes. of tomatoes were left. Now, were left. So let us analyze this problem. Again, I'm going to read. Ray harvested 25 and 2 third kilograms of tomatoes from his garden. He gave 6 eight of them to the visitors. How many kilograms of tomatoes were left? Now, let's have to analyze. Understand the problem. What is us in this problem? So, in this problem, as uh, the kilograms of tomatoes were left. Kung ilang kilo ba ang natira kay Ray after he given the 6 eight of, six eight of 25 and 2 third kilograms of tomatoes. Then, under the understand the problem, we are going to know what are the given facts. Our given facts is 25 and 2 third kilograms. Then we have a, a 6 eight of them. So we do not know what is 6 eight of them of 25 and 2 third kilograms of tomatoes. Now, do we have the hidden question here? Yes, we have the hidden question because we are going to find out how many is 6 8 of 25 and 2 third kilograms. So we're going to solve first our hidden given. Hidden given. So our uh, 25 and 2 third times 6 8. So, how do we multiply a uh, mixed number to a fraction? So, first, we are going to change this into an improper fraction. Okay. Tingin ng mabuti. Paano tayo mag-change ng mixed number into an improper fraction? So, si denominator, multiply natin kay whole number. Din ipa-plus natin si numerator. Again, si denominator, multiply kay whole number. Sige nga. 25 times 3. So we have 25. 25 times 3. 15. Carry 1. 75. Then plus daw si numerator na 2. That is 77. Fee, uh, third. Copyhan pa rin si denominator. So this is now our improper fraction of a mixed number. Let. Denominator times numerator, then add the numerator, then copy the denominator, that is now your improper fraction from a mixed number. Then multiply 6, 8. So this, in this case, we're going to use cancellation method so that we can have a smaller number. Okay, so 
3 and 6 can be divided by 3. So, mga divided by 3, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Then, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then, proceed to multiplication. 77 times 2. Okay, 77 times 2, 14 carry 1, 15. So, we have 154, 1 times 8 equals 8. Now, we're going to divide. Okay, so we have 154 divided by 8. Okay, tingin na mabuti ko paano mag-divide. So, 15 muna tayo mag-start. 15 divided by 8, 1. Then, 1 times 8 equals 8. Then, subtract. 15 minus 8 equals 7. Bring down 4. 74 divided by 8 equals 9. 9 times 8 equals 72. Then, 4 minus 2 equals 2. 7 minus 7 equals 7. Now, our answer is 19 and 2, 8. So, this is the This is the 6 8 of 25 and 2 third kilogram of tomatoes. This is now our hidden problem. Or the hidden given rather. So 2 8 can be changed into a lowest term. Paan? I divide that. This is a 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Then copy in the si whole number. And that is 19 and 1 fourth kilogram. Of tomatoes. This is our hidden given. Wala pa po tayo sa answer ha. Hidden given. So I'm going to write here our hidden given. 19 and 4 feet kilograms. So we are going to use that in solving the problem. Now. Ay, nabura ko. So we have 19 and 2 8 or 19 and 1 4. Now. Plan. So, plan. Under the plan, you're going to know what are the given, uh, the clue words. So, ang clue word po natin dito is where left. So, that is subtraction. But before we subtract, we multiply. Nag-multiply tayo kanina, di ba? Because of the word of them, in order to get the hidden given. So, nakuha na natin ang hidden given. That is why to translate our number sentence, Ito na po yung gagamitin natin as the given facts to solve the problem. Since our problem is as about how many kilograms or the number of or the kilogram of tomatoes were left to Rene. So our now mathematical sentence now is 25 and 2 third kilogram minus 19 and 1 fourth kilogram equals N. So, this is now our number sentence. Wala na po tayo sa multiplication since we already multiply to get the hidden given. Pag hindi kasi natin nakuha ang hidden given, we cannot give the number sentence or we cannot translate our problem into a mathematical sentence. So, now, but using this uh, given or the mathematical sentence, we can now solve the problem. So, we are going to solve now. So, subtraction. So, we have 25 and 2 third minus 19 and 1 fourth. So, our fraction is the similar fraction. If you remember last week, we studied how to subtract. Uh, last two weeks, rather, how to subtract and add similar and dissimilar fraction. So, kapag hindi parehas ang denominator, ano ang ginagawa natin? Yes, we get the LCD of the denominator the, of a fraction, then change it into a similar fraction before you subtract. So, the LCD of 3 and 4 or the LCM is 12. So, we use 12, 12. Then, divide natin si 12. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Makinig. 12 divided by 3 equals 4, i-times natin sa numerator. Hindi to kasama si whole number. Ha? Again, 12 divided by 3 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. Then, 12 divided by 4 equals 3 times 1 equals 3. 
So, we're going to subtract now. Subtract first another. A minus 3 equals 5. Then, copy 12. Okay, so 5, 12, our fraction. Now, the whole number, we're going to subtract whole number. 25 minus 19. Or we have here is 6. So, the answer now is 6 and 5, 12 kilograms of tomatoes that left to Rene. So, ito na lang ang natira kay Rene after he given the 19 and 1 for kilogram to the visitors. Any problem? Okay, do you have any question? So, if you have no question, uh, I have here a question. How do we solve word problems involving multiplication of fraction without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole number? Okay. So, to solve the word problems involving multiplication of fractions without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole number, you are going to know these uh, steps. First, you're going to understand the problem. So, under the understand, you're going to know what is asked. What are the given facts? And solve for the hidden given if it has the hidden given. If there is none, you're not going to solve the hidden given. If your uh, facts or the given facts is complete, then you are going to plan. So, under the plan, you're going to know the clue word or words that uh, gives you the clue or hint to what operation you are going to use. Then, under the plan, you are going to know what operation to be used. And then, after you uh, know the operation to be used, under the plan again, you are going to translate now the number sentence into a mathematic ah uh, the word problem into a mathematical sentence or a word problem then after you change your problem into a mathematical sentence you can now solve the problem then after you solve the problem you are going to check your answer if your answer makes sense or not so if it makes sense you are going to Uh, if your answer makes sense, it means your answer is check. Now, let's go now to uh, finding the reciprocal. Okay, now, how do you show a fraction into its reciprocal? So, let's have this an example. So, example, we have the reciprocal, uh, reciprocal, reciprocal of a fraction. So, let's have this an example. Three-fourths. The reciprocal of three-fourths is four-third. So, what did you notice? Okay, very good. So, si denominator na to, ginawa natin siyang numerator. Then, si numerator, gawin natin siyang denominator. So, that is meant by reciprocal. Inverting method. We invert. From numerator becomes denominator. From denominator becomes numerator. How if our given is a whole number? Let's say for example, 5. How do you change this into a reciprocal? So, di ba sinabi ko uh, last two weeks na kapag whole number, automatic mayroon siyang denominator na? Yes, very good. 1. So, since mayroon daw po tayong 1 dito, so the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. Then, if showing the reciprocal of a fraction, if you get the, the product of a reciprocal of the given fraction, the answer is always 1. Tandaan po natin, kasi binaliktad lang natin eh. Let's say for example, 3 times 4 equals 12. 4 times 3 equals 12. So, the, uh, 12 divided by 12 is equals to 1. Or we are going to use cancellation. Cancel, cancel, 1, 1. Cancel, cancel, 1, 1. So, always 1. If you get the reciprocal, uh, the product of a reciprocal of a fraction. How if our give it, or you ask to get the reciprocal of a mixed number? So, kapag mixed number naman, paano tayo mag-change to a reciprocal? Let's have this 3 and 2 fifths. 
Sir, paano tayo mag-reciprocal yan? Kasi mayroon tayong whole number. So, hindi yan problema. All you have to do, you're going to change first your mixed number into an improper fraction. Paano tayo mag-change ng improper fraction again? Kanina, tinuro ko na, di ba? So, to change the mixed number into an improper fraction, again, we multiply the denominator to a whole number, then get the sum of the product to the numerator. Okay. Get the sum of the product of numer uh, whole number and denominator. Nakuha? So, change muna natin sila. So, we have this 3 times 5 equals 15 plus 2 equals 17. So, our fraction is 17 fifth. So, to get the reciprocal, ang kanyang reciprocal is 5 17. So, this is now the reciprocal of 3 and 2 fifth. That is how to get the reciprocal of a fraction of a whole number and a mixed number. Okay, let's have a practice. 5A. Who can give the reciprocal of 5A? Okay, very good. The reciprocal is 8 fifth. How about 7A? What is the reciprocal? 8 7. Very good. So, any question? Okay, if there is none, there is none? Okay, if there is none, I am have here a question. So, how do you find the reciprocal of a fraction? Diba? Pinakita ko na sa inyo. Okay. So, to get the reciprocal, uh, to find the reciprocal of a fraction through inverting fraction. Through inverting. Take note the word inverting. Balik ta rin natin. So, the numerator becomes the denominator. The denominator becomes the numerator. So like this, uh, like for example, 4 7 equals 7 fourth. Then we have 6 becomes 1 6. So that is whole number. Then the other one is 2 and 3 fourths. So first we're going to change our 2 and 3 fourths into an improper fractions. Two, uh, 4 times 2 equals 8. Plus 3 equals 11. So, 11 fourth equals 4 11. Any question? If there is none, it is now your time to do your task. Okay, for your activities, answer learning tasks 2 and 3 on page 30 to 31 of your math module. Take note, write your answer only in your math notebook. So, sa math notebook ninyo, isusulat yung answer. Then, the other activity, answer learning task 4 on page 31, answer only. Do not copy the problem. Then, for the last activity, it's all about the showing the reciprocal of a fraction, answer learning task 2 on page 33. This time, you can also copy the fraction and then the answer. So, maiksi lang naman yun. So, any question for your activity? If there is none, let's proceed now to your reflection. So, for your reflection again, write your personal insights about our lesson using the prompts below. I understand that, then your answer. I learned that, then your answer. Then uh, send it to the link provided in your Google Classroom. So, we have now um, five reflections. So, this week, I will provide now the link for you to send your reflection in the Google Classroom. So, magpo-provide na po ako ng link para mabasa ko na ang inyong reaction regarding to our lessons. Okay? Thank you very much. Enjoy doing your activities. See you next week and goodbye.